Some Hawaii healthcare workers are speaking out, claiming constant violence by patients. Their union says nurses at Queens, the facilities there are subjected to physical, even sexual assault, and that they're not getting the support they need from management. Sam Spangler spoke with nurses and has reaction from Queens in a story that's new tonight at 9. The accounts are disturbing. Nurses being given black eyes, split lips from punches, a pregnant nurse knocked out cold from a punch. They're asking for more help, security, and a zero tolerance policy for violent patients. When a patient comes out threat threatening to smash the nurse's head in and comes out of the room looking for him, the nurse has to run and hide, and security doesn't respond for 40 minutes. That is unacceptable. I spoke with nurses from Punch Bowl, Queens West, and Halepulama Mao, which is a satellite campus on the Kuakini Medical Center property, which does not have their own security. Ross says it's been the worst there. The two main concerns there is they have ridiculous nurse to patient ratios. And the other glaring thing is the absolute lack of security. An HPM nurse who wants to remain anonymous says every day she's verbally or physically abused, including getting punched in the ribs and the eye. Today, a couple hours ago, I just got stopped for one of my patients. And this patient in particular likes to scratch, likes to dig the nails. Um, and we were told, oh, just put socks on them. Put socks on your patient's hands. Nurses say they want more security and a zero tolerance policy for violence and threats, meaning the immediate discharge of violent patients. Many nurses I spoke with feel like they're being blamed. A lot of management say, oh, what could you have done better in that situation? What could you have done that would maybe not leak that moment? Almost every one of the nurses that I've spoken to who've been victims of, of abuse, either sexual or physical or other physical abuse, has said that they were asked questions um, such, such as, what could you have done differently to prevent? So basically blaming the victim. Queens declined an interview but said in part, quote, we have convened a workplace violence prevention committee, which is committed to implementing best practices addressing workplace violence, and we look forward to continuing our work with our nurses, our employees, and our unions to keep staff safe when caring for our patients. Nurses say that the violence has really picked up in the past year. In fact, I spoke with a nurse from Queens West Oahu who says that just last night they had a man who was throwing things at staff, was kicked out of the facility, let back in a half hour later, and then began threatening a security guard. The nurse says she's growing numb to it all. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.